Eddie Atlas, and we welcome you to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds of middleweight action. Each man comes into this fight. So Number, move, Opening three minutes move. of this ten round fight. Teddy, I'm going to call this one a little baking soda and vinegar matchup. You know what happens when you put those two things together? Yeah, you get a volcano, and it's going to explode. And I think before the night's over, you're going to see that. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Stairs, but off target. Uh. <laughs> Ninety seconds to go here in this round. The next generation's punch is far off the target. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Come on, come on. We count down the final moments of this round. And that's the end of round one. The next generation's effectiveness really damaged his opponent in that last round. You know, you, you've got to impose your will on him. You need to take it to this guy. You're stronger and you punch harder than this guy. This is a wipeout. You are winning this fight. You keep doing what you're doing, and you got this in the bag. Just keep doing exactly what you do. Oh, you're looking good, looking good, just like in the gym. Keep it up. Here we go. Round two is underway. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. The next generation's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch.
Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. Let it go! Able to cover up that gut. Not able to connect with the uppercut. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. The next generation's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Not able to land the headshot. The next generation's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. I think the lesson to be learned here is it's a marathon, not a sprint. He has treated this fight like it's a sprint early on here. Yeah, and the tortoise is starting to pass him right by, waving at him, saying, ha. Ah. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Last 10 seconds. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bid. He's confident. Not much action as he just ties up and he clinches yet again <laughs> protecting his head well with his guard Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Solid left hand to the head. <laughs> Blocks the headshot. The next generation is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Halfway through this round. <laughs> nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Shot blocked. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Jump on him, jump on him right now. The next generation's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Keep moving. Keep moving. Just ate a big uppercut, 
He's in bad shape. Puts forth the hook, scores with it. Comes with the right. And that's the end of round three. Ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we start round number four. But I still think that either fighter could take complete control of this fight. He's up around right now. The next generation is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing one-on-one, counter-punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Blocking a score. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. seconds to go in round number four. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead. Think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. No, very good movement. Very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Nice work. Nice work. Uppercut. Uppercut is wide open. Uppercut, baby. Come on. Seconds to go in the fourth. Let's finish this thing. Huh? Finish. Let's keep going. Keep going. You are doing great. All right. Come on. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Keep your head move. The next generation showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Good job protecting himself. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. The next generation's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch.
Halfway into round number five here. Able to show you his blocking ability. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in this round. end of the round is upon us and we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed he looks tired now teddy what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up well first of all this is where you're searching to those corners that you're not forced to search kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself places you didn't know were there before you better find them you better find them quick. I want to see hooks to the body, then a hook to the head, all right? Hook to the body, then to the head. The start of the sixth round. The next generation is going to try to keep things going in this direction. He has dominated the action all night long. Teddy, I'm starting to wonder, what is the answer for this guy? Can he do anything else than this? Yeah, he throws punches, but he has no accuracy. Can this change in mid-fight? Well, it has to if he wants to win this fight. And how does it change? Well, you know, the problem is these things have to be put in place in the gym. I don't know if you could do it right now, but if you could, you tell him in the corner, hey, tighten up a little bit, you know, shorten up these darn punches. The next generation's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Halfway through round six. You're not focusing. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. The next generation is having a masterful round defensively. I love what we're seeing from the footwork with him. Very good movement, sound defensively. Is there anything he should be considering adding to that arsenal, though, right now? Well, he's got to find spots for offense. You know, he's making his opponent miss. He's getting them off bounds. He's frustrating them a little bit. You know, pop at the right time. You know, let it fly a little bit in the right spot. You keep your guy off balance. When you got him off balance, you make him miss, make him pay. That wasn't able to land. Come on. 
working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. This has been an entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomachache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. You can get ahead. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. He just missed that shot up top. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Yeah, no, Huge right hand oh, comes you. crashing home. Now put him away. And he's holding. The next generation's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Get your hands up! Good job staying away from the danger there. Halfway through the seventh round. Gets rid of that effort. Nice block. Go, go. Get out the way from those punches. Move your head. Move your head. He returned fire right there, and it worked. After being rocked, now he gets his man. At this point, it's not about the skills and the abilities of these two fighters. It's about the dreams of them, and one of them is being eliminated. Showing you some defense there with the block. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Move, move. And that does it for this round. No worries, all right? I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up, keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You gotta watch the water okay? In the corner. But I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around and rip. Okay, okay, deep breath now, deep breath. Relax, relax. Are you all right? You need to just keep your hands up, keep your hands up. Don't worry now. I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up and keep working the jab, okay? The start of round eight. Teddy's got it a close fight. The next generation's enjoying a slight lead, but he has to sharpen up that defense. His opponent has been finding a way to land. Yeah, I'll be more specific, so he's got to keep his backside off those ropes. That's where he's paying a price. Keep moving, keep moving. Do that 
with one more time. Pace yourself. <laughs> Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. The next generation's making this like art work here. I mean, his defense is just a masterpiece. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, actually. You know, the, the sweet science. It's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches. It's supposed to be about going in there avoiding punches. You know, finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you. He understands that. Let's see some more head movement. The halfway point of round number eight. Relax, relax. The next generation's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. And he just holds on there. the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Unload! Unload! Move! Move! Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. The next generation showing you a little defensive skill there, able to move away from that punch. End of the round, and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the taking. Yeah, whoever finishes off strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of forgot where the separation was. And whoever grabs the last part of the round, that's who you remember. It's very important in this kind of fight, finish up good at the end of the round. Focus. Good block. Yeah. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Work the body. Good looking counter punch. Hey, let's go out there now. Come on now, let me see. Punch, punch. <laughs> generations keeping his guard up very very well Teddy does it help to have the speed that he has uh, sure doing. anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing it has to be technically right but now you put speed you're doing it even better you're doing it at a higher level 90 seconds into the ninth round <laughs> Generation's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Pace yourself. 
Blocks away that headshot. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Now let's go. And that's the end of round nine. The next generation's got to find a way to take what he just did in that last round and keep that kind of energy moving forward here because I do believe he's ahead on the scorecards in a close fight, very close fight. Yeah, I see it about the same way, but you just said it. It's very important that his corner people now don't really tell him that he's ahead. I think they let him think that if he's not this behind, it. it's a dead even fight. This and keep pushing, champion. keep pushing right there. Stay responsible, stay within yourself, but keep pushing. He's got nothing left, okay? Now just go for the head, knock him out. Final round has arrived. Who wants it more? He missed with that headshot. Hands up. He scored well after being hit himself. Work the body, kid. Body shots. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Carries that punch intended for the head. Unload! Unload! More punches! defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Halfway through this 10th and final round. The next generation's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Now hugging on the inside. Uppercut! I don't like this at all, Teddy. I mean, it's one thing to stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's another thing to never even move. You got to show some movement. Maybe he's breaking down. Maybe he's already spit the bit. You know, if he falls down, everybody in the world's going to know that he let himself fall down. He gave up. But there's different ways, different phases of giving in. And this might be one of those phases. in the last 10 seconds of this final round. The fight is over, but now the debate begins. Who won that fight? This is where you hope that the criterion for scoring a fight is understood by the judges because if there's any gray area, you're going to be all over the place in this one. Very hard to pick a winner. So the judges see it a draw. Now, just talking to you throughout the broadcast tonight, you felt it should have gone one way. I think he should go out and buy some lottery tickets because he is as lucky as I can think. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.